ladies and gents, thanks for inviting me here tonight. I'm John Hamilton from Rushton Spencer, near Lee. So I've come through three counties to get here tonight. It was a self empowered joiner for 50 years, and I've always collected or hoarded things, as people say. There were that much, I've got a big workshop, and I've that much stuff I collect, anything unusual. So when I retired, a friend of mine says, why don't you do talks and quizzes for a charity, get some money in for your charity? So I do talk for ladies groups, WIs, farming groups, mixed groups. So the charity I collect for is the leprosy mission, which is ter still a terrible disease in parts of the world. And my wife works at Imperial Cancer up in Macclesfield for nearly 30 years. So we do what we can for help the charity. So what I collect now is, I say I've always been a joiner, I collect very good quality woodworking tools, if anybody's got any. So where the talk works, wherever I go, I get 25 items. If it's a ladies group, the all things that pertain to ladies. If it's a gents group, the all gents things. But like tonight, there's mixed groups, there's some for ladies, there's some for gents. Mm -hmm. So there's 25 items on the table. There might be, there's no more numbers than 25, but there might be two of number three. So you can get around the table and have a look. So what I should like you to do, pick a quiz sheet up, come round, fill up, have a look what they are, you can handle any of the items. You can ask me any questions, shan't necessarily tell you what they are. So there you are, fill the quiz sheet in and make my night get the 25. There we are, happy quizzing, there we go. See, so yeah, have a all walk round. You'll get some of them right and some you won't, but make my night to get them all 25. <laughs> Then at the end, I'll go for this thing up. Let the president say, sit down. Say, I'm not doing very well, Fred. Are we right then? Everybody looked and got the 25? Mm -hmm. 25 right of me. <laughs> right, shall I tell you what they are then? Yes. yes. And if I get it wrong, you tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Number one. Finger squeezer. Huh? Squeezing fingers. <laughs> pipe vice. What? A pipe vice? No. Victorian. Three different sizes. Yes. Oh. Used by ladies or gents, always used indoors. Victorian. <laughs> Three different sizes. No. <laughs> Victorian. Is there a clue in the word Victorian? <laughs> Ladies or gents used it, always used indoors. And it was screwed down, wasn't it? It could, it could be screwed on the bench, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No ideas. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's used by chemists. Ah, now they had cork in the bottles before, oh. screw tops. Ah. So they had different sizes of corks. You put the cork in water, let it soak in water, put it in there, cramped it tight, mm. put it in the bottle and it expanded in the bottle. Ah. The cork press for, for uh, chemists. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anybody got that right? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I that there to no. Number two, this is Victorian. It would be it would be fixed clamped onto a bench, and it's being used a lot. Always used indoors, ladies or gents. Oh, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, yeah. This has been used a lot, like every war. And I think you can still get these new. Somebody told me. Huh? Do you approve? No. Not quite. Not the master, is it? No. It would be screwed. It clamped onto a bench and put something on it. Lemon. Huh? Lemon. No. Potato peel. Huh? Potato peel. No. <laughs> Victorian, this one, very old one. Yeah. Yeah, Nobody's got one of these? No. I'll show you how it works then. <laughs> you cut the coconut in half. Oh, put it on there and it brings the core out, the coconut. Oh. Coconut shredder. Oh. Coconut shredder. Oh. Nobody's got one. <laughs> no. Is that a no? <laughs> right now, watch this. Number three, what are these? Sugar tongs. Sugar tongs. Sugar tongs. Some sort of tongs, aren't they? What do you think they are? They're very sharp. Mm -hmm. Sugar lumped. Pickled onion pickers. Oh, mm. Victorian these. Used by ladies or gents. Usually indoors. Terrifying. They could be used outdoors, but usually indoors. <laughs> what were they for? Pickled onions. <laughs> They're very sharp. Yes, they are. Oh. <laughs> mm. You're letting me down, I thought everybody furnished me, they have some of these. <laughs> no? Not for picking fruit with berries and that, no. 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 Nobody got it right? No. I'm touching cats today. Ice tongs! Ice tongs! Oh. Ice come round in a big bucket in box. Ice tongs, that's why they shut up. Oh. Ice tongs, everybody think the sugar tongs, but they know. Yeah, they Ice tongs. Spoons on the end. Yeah. These are Victorian. They can be used indoors or outdoors, usually by a gent, really. Food stretching. We've cheated on these ones, so we're not saying. You put fluid in them. Yes, you do. It's a syringe for flipping uh, horses' hairs. You're right. Yeah. I've used them. Oh. The hair singes for horses. Oh. <laughs> you, take, you take the bottom off there, put the lighter fuel in there, put that back, and it has a wick in there. You light the wick, turn that, light the wick. If you're singing hair on horses, like on fancy cab horses. Uh, like after, they, after they've been clipped, if you clip them, then you call them pig hairs. Pig hairs grow through. Mm. That's it. And it's for shringing off the pig hairs. For burning them off, just burn the little hairs off. Oh. Hair singer. We've got one. Very good. Very good. You should have bought me, brother, with me, shouldn't you? Right. Number five. There's two of these. Victoria. Always used outdoors. By ladies. Unless you were. Oh, hang on. I just realised what it might be then. Something fits. She loves it. She loves it. Oh, zip puller. Oh, it's recycling. Eh? Zip puller. No, it's, it's called cycling. I'm putting your skirts on. Somebody's got it right. Anybody else over here know what it is? No, Victorian. Always used outdoors. Keeps out the mud. Hmm? Keeps out the mud. The mud. It's a skirt lifter. Oh, skirt. <laughs> no, a skirt lifter. <laughs> Ladies have this on the dress like that. Yeah. And they had great long dresses in Victorian yeah. times. Yeah. When they went through the mud, you just pick your dress up, just lock it in there like that, while they went through the mud. 
Skirt lifted. Yeah, because that's just so convenient. Skirt lifted. Uh, <laughs> I saw uh, Star Lady once in league, we were running back in there, had quite metal stilts that she wore up to the skid metal and mud. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got that right. I think when we first started cycling, they had things to fit the skirts up, didn't they? Because they couldn't, they'd get caught in the. Number six, a very good quality one. This is Victorian. Very good quality, this. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a butcher's stand. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm
1950s. I thought you'd get this right. Measuring bowls. Measuring bowls. Bowls measure. Bowls measure. Bowls measure. Green bowls. Green bowls. Bowls of the jack. Green bowls. Oh, those kind of bowls. Yes, bowls. Bowls measure. Oh, a big string. You put that between the bowls. Here's the winner. Bowls measure. I've a pair at home. Um, I have some at home. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to do kind of I'll hope you get them. Shelf for uh, 1940s and 50s, these. Usually used by a gent outside. Oh, and it's not a bra for a midget, so we can, ah! we can discount that, start away. Horn trimmer. Eh? Horn trimmer. For horns. Yes. Yeah. Horse, uh, horn trainers for cattle. Yeah. And cattle had horns. And once you take them to a show, agriculture show, you wanted the horns to get nice and level. So they put these on. Can't be took every week till they got the horns nice and level. <laughs> Home trainers. Look at that, clever boy, the only farmer here. That's <laughs> so what they are. They're quite rare, they are. You don't know. Hang the hat on. No, you've got a pincer at the top, hasn't you? Some kind of pincer at the top. Yeah. Holding something. Pardon? Holding something. Holding something. Jewelry? No. 1790. 20 euros. It's the oldest thing I've got here tonight. Always used indoors, it wouldn't work outdoors. Oh. Can you show how it works? Um.